we feeling for that cake now. Niggas rich, we caught it out. We know they'll be broke a while. Said I got my gang now. She love me from the waist down. Pull up like a gray. How we slide on you like playgrounds. Been here for that cake now. So today, part of my BM racing order has come in. And I picked up the steering turnbuckle set. I wanted to get the short and the long version because the standard ones are like these. Let me get the light better. Is these set screws. So it's not perfect on either side. Mine, I was lucky enough to actually get pretty even. But one of my friends who has the standard version, if he, one side, well actually this side is off. This side is off by a little bit. And if he twists it to where he turns it once, the whole wheel is always off a little bit more the other way. So he can't fix it regardless. So I bought two sets of these. Uh, yeah, I believe I bought two. And these are the length of the stock ones from the kit. And I'm about to open these up to show how much longer the long version is. The short version was out of stock, so once those come in a stock, I'm gonna pick those up. And these have different threads on one side so that you can actually twist it and get a better precise measurement on each side the only problem is that well not really problem just because now i'm gonna change my angle is that like i said this is the long version the short version would be i assume good enough to just replace this but because of this being the long one I'm going to have to extend my lowers and upper control arms. I'm going to try and just do the lowers right now. Hopefully it's not too much camber. But besides that, I think that should do it. I picked up the version 3 gyro. Because everyone says that this gyro and <clears throat> the AGFRC, the AFRC, and every other version 3 gyro are the same. I've used two of them they feel very similar but the tune is different i got this brass gearbox not for my car but for my friend's standard version what i found very interesting is that this thing is built uh, i'm not going to open it because this is his stuff and i'm not going to finger bang it but it comes with the screws it also comes with the bearings inside the gear and a Oh, damn, it's hard to see, but it has a diff in here. So this thing is assembled. All he has to do is basically bolt it in, unbolt his, put in his shaft, and just screw it in. He doesn't have to take anything apart, which is pretty sick. I'm going to give him an extra pair of diff savers so that they don't break on him. He's pretty good with his stuff, so I highly doubt he'd break it. And then I was able to get these front and rear spring sets to try those out got an extra set of standard screw sets for my friend just because he has the standard version and this i got for myself was an extra set of body mounts just because i recently picked up this car which is a bm racing drz version one conversion and I took the magnet mounts off of my DRZ version 2 to put on here because recently I got the front bumper piece for my DRZ version 2 and now I'm gonna re keep using these magnets that came with this kit on that one but I wanted to use the body post and these magnets with this one just because it is a bm racing car 
So this will look nice with this and this. So I'm gonna actually record myself trying to figure out how to do the angle for this one just because it will be interesting, I think, for someone to see how from stock to a extended front wheelbase would look like. Uh, mine is a VIP version, but I mean, the angle should not be any different than the standard version just because everything is the same besides it being brass. I have mine basically full hop up, including the shock towers, front and rear, and then the bottom deck, and also the top deck. I have it in a, another bag labeled WL Toys. But yeah, this thing's full hop up. I have the BM Racing Servo for this one and the new BM Racing and I think it's Team Powers. I don't remember the ca the name of the uh, the name of the other company, but it's a ca collaboration for a motor and ESC combo. That should be getting here tomorrow and the servo should be here I'm not too sure when, but it's their new full metal servo that's black, not blue. So this car will be fully matching. That's the goal for this one. I want to get that one as close to where I got this one, which is my XRX DPA. Or I think the DPA is part of the standard version, but this is almost full hop up as well. Just need the rear lower control arms and the hubs. And I mean, I guess if I wanted to get the motor mount uh, in uh, aluminum, but I think it's fine like this. So I'm going to start the work on this one and I'll talk to you guys when I'm done.
So after putting on the new steering turnbuckle, you can see that I'm going to have to extend my wheelbase quite a bit. <clears throat> I've also previously printed these little three mil spacers and I also have one mil spacers. So we'll start with that right now. Um, after looking at this though, I can tell that I will no longer be able to run this GTR body just because with this fitment, it was already pushing it. As you can see, so maybe, I don't know, we'll see how far it sticks it out. Um, I don't mind making it look like a drift car because, you know, full drift car. But I would like to keep the body as clean as possible. Okay, so I've added three millimeter spacers on the top and the bottom on each side. And it looks like that basically fixed it back to where my angle was at. Because right there it's hitting the stopper. And then it does get stuck because when it is at droop, the arm hits there but if you put it on the ground it'll clear it so you can see the angle there not bad I'm pretty happy with it I don't think it literally just pushed it out. Um, I really want to get the short ones just to try out the short ones. But I think it basically just be a replacement for these so that it's more precise. Because like I said, you can only do so much when you're on a set screw. And yeah, that'll be the end of the video till I get my new servo and my motor and ESC. Can't wait to try that all out with the new gyro.